Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to create a smart LED control system using the ESP32 and the Blink app. With this project, you can remotely control an LED using your smartphone. Perfect for beginners in IoT. Check this out. With just a tap on my phone, I can turn the LED on and off. Let's dive into how you can build this yourself. For this project, you'll need an ESP32 board, a single LED or an RGB LED for more advanced control, a 330 ohm resistor to limit current, a breadboard and jumper wires. Here's how to connect everything. One, connect the longer leg of the LED anode to GPIO pin 14 on the ESP32 through the resistor. 2. Connect the shorter leg, cathode, to GND. And just like that, our hardware setup is ready. Now let's set up the Blink app. 1. Open the Blink app and create a new project. 2. Select ESP32 feed as your device and Wi-Fi as the connection type. 3. Add a button widget to your project. 4. Link the button to virtual pin V1. 5. Set switch mode from push to switch. Blink will send an authentication token to your email. Keep this handy, we'll use it in our code. Let's start coding. First, install the necessary libraries for Blink. Our code will start by copying the credentials from the part of the code from the email that Blink sent us. Now, include the necessary libraries for Wi-Fi and Blink. Also, we will define our Wi-Fi SID and password. Now, we'll set up pin 14 for the LED and initialize the Blink connection. Finally, we'll write a function to control the LED when we press the button in the Blink app. That's it. Now upload the code to your ESP32. Make sure you select the correct board and COM port. Let's test it out. Open the Blink app on your phone and press the button you added. And there you have it a fully functional smart LED control system. You can also expand this project with an RGB LED to control colors. In this video, we built a smart LED control system using the ESP32 and the Blink app. It's a simple yet powerful project to get started with IoT. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Drop a comment below if you have questions or ideas for future projects. See you in the next one.